Ladies, a shout out once again to the YouTube family and God bless everybody. K Ray, what a powerful video, man. The video you got called her testimony. I believe the sister name you said was uh Miss Ebony or Miss Evans, it might have been Ebony. Man, I'm gonna tell you, bro, y'all almost brought tears in my eyes looking at that video to listen at that sister. And how she just kept on saying that God made a way for her. How her child is handicapped and, you know, I believe he can't talk. You know, how they took away, even cut down his check for being disabled. He can't, you know, do too much and, and he's still alive. And she said she never went without going, I mean, without food to eat. God been taking care of, even when the job, you know, she was talking about how she just been struggling. But through it all, all that grace and mercy, through it all, she reminded me of a, a, a lady I used to work with. This lady I used to work with is just like her. I believe her husband had got killed in an accident, but she was left behind with, I think, three or four kids. And she was a humble woman. Just I'm listening at this lady on the, on the camera with you. God bless her, man. I love her spirit. She is so humble and she's recognizing God because God is the provider. And they did all they could, to, you know, to knock her down and keep keep her money away from her. And, and you know, she still find that strength and that faith in God. She's still working. She's sitting at that desk thanking God. And sister, you sung, I wish you would have left that camera rolling because you sung one of the most powerful songs I love, that old song, I Am a Living Testimony. I should have been dead and gone. Good God Almighty. Oh, we all ought to be able to relate to that song. Because when we look back over our lives, sister, oh, we only made it. We only made it by His grace and mercy. You had some. You had been some. Had I, I, I'm gonna say had some hard times. Yeah. Because when you go through a struggle, it's gonna be a blessing in the long run. Well, let me say that right. You had some hard times, and you're gonna have some hard times, and you probably got some hard times right now. I don't know your life story, but I know one thing. I applaud you, so let me just give you a hand clap, and I hope K-Ray let you look at this video because you uplifted my spirit very highly by looking at your video. So a lot of people don't understand. We are here by his grace and his mercy. You know, the lady I used to work with just like that, man, she struggled and struggled and then no man, no man wanted to talk to her or date her because she was left behind with kids. You know how it goes. That's why I was talking about that in the other video about how people punish the kids and the kids ain't even, they didn't even ask to be her. You know, they, we need to love these kids. Like, oh man, just like God loves us and we too busy judging folks. And I'm listening at your testimony and it just brings turn to my eye. I said, God Almighty, Lord, bless her. Bless her and bless her. Oh, in ways she wouldn't even think was coming her way. Because she's being faithful over a few things. And you are making her a ruler over many. Though, though, though it might look like dark clouds right now, sister. But oh, you keeping God first. You remind me of a virtuous woman. You're speaking wisdom out of your mouth, not foolishness. You keeping God first. You making sure them babies are going to be all right. But you know what? Like you say, long as you got Jesus, you don't need nothing there. Oh, he told us if we seek ye first the kingdom in the book of Matthew, if we seek ye first the kingdom and all his righteousness, all those other things will be added. And I believe you say your son now is 19, and they, you say the doctors pretty much had gave up on him anyway. Said he wouldn't move, he wouldn't, oh man, he wouldn't even be able to talk, he wouldn't be able to, you say he probably didn't think he was going to live this long. Hey, I don't know why folks think God ain't performing miracles no more. He ain't never stopped. A lot of people just don't stop believing in God. Dynamic video system uplifted me so highly. I can watch that video over and over and over again because I love to see people testimonies like that, that that you recognize in God. And you just keep it in all the way 100% real in that video. So a lot of people be scared to talk about what they go through and, and how much money they make. And then, you know, one thing about God, he knows us all. We are his children. We can't hide nothing from him. The truth is the truth. And you ain't doing nothing but telling the truth. See, you mind me of myself. 
I ain't got a whole lot of money. I ain't got a whole lot of what the next man got. But you know what? I got a whole lot of God in me. I got a whole lot of love in me that going to love past any amount of money you can never think about giving me. Because the people that got a lot of money ain't trying to help. Oh, a lot of these people got a lot of money. People keep talking about this economy. And then, boy, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I got a news flag for people with this recession. Boy, you think people really ain't got money? Man, there's a lot of folks sitting on a lot of money. I like what my old man say, hey, ain't nobody... And the economy ain't broke somebody else just to put their name on the money. Because you got the, what did the Bible teach us? The rich going to be stealing from the poor. People stealing from each other. And just looking at your video, oh, oh, good God Almighty. You reaping the harvest that God promised you. And you're going to take back everything that the devil even think about trying to steal from you. It's an old song called Faithful. Oh, man, I love it. Mm-hmm. Devil can do all he can. See, the devil meant it for your good, sister. I mean, let me say that right. Excuse me. The devil meant it for your bad, but God meant it for your good. I'll keep on speaking the realness about God. You said he never let you go without. I believe one of the jobs you said you made about a dollar and thirty, a dollar forty an hour, something like that. Oh man, I fear you. I fear you. And you, I notice. You just keep talking about God. I love when folks keep recognizing God. Just keep on recognizing God. And you are just giving him his just due praise and his honor. Oh, good God Almighty. Beautiful video. I can just, I'm just, hey man, you got me wired up, okay, where I can't go to sleep. Because I was just having to click on your page. I was looking at your other video about how we done took God out of school. And like me and you were saying on the phone, they done took God out of everything, and then they want to legalize sin. <laughs> you know what, K-Ray, this don't even mean nothing no more to a lot of people in the world. The Bible don't mean nothing. This is the basic instructions before leaving earth. And we done put down instructions, and we want to go up against that word and legalize everything that the Bible say don't do. Not trying to jump off subject, subject but sister, keep on looking to the hills from where your help come from. And your help only comes from God. And you know what I loved about you? You wasn't sitting up there making up no excuse. Talking about I got a sorry man. Ain't no man around doing this. You wasn't making up no excuse. You got your head on straight and you looking forward. And you making up no excuse. And you saying God taking care of me. I don't know what happened to the man. And I, you know it ain't even none of my business no way. But I know it's a lot of situations like this going on. Where man done just left the scene. That's why I keep telling these folks, man, all women ain't bad. All men ain't bad. Oh, good God Almighty. See, this is where your faith lies in, sister. Where it lies in with God. You, you got faith past the size of a mustard seed. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because you are moving. See, it's a lot of people say they got faith, but they sitting still. They want God to do everything for them. You are moving. Faith is about moving. Oh, God taking care of you. He's going to be able to take care of you. Why? Because he said, I didn't bring you this far to leave you. And I would never leave you, never forsake you. That ain't how our God operate. He's going to stay with us. He said, I will be with you oh, at all times, from the beginning, even to the end of time. Oh, shout hallelujah right now. Good God Almighty. Love that testimony. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, K Ray, keep that camera going, man. I, Check back up with her uh, later on, man, and, and and post another video because she encourages me, man. I love when folks, oh, you can talk about God. Oh, good God Almighty. See, if we can talk about the goodness of God, woo, and stop all this foolishness and this complaining about what we ain't got. We spend more time talking about what we ain't got and, and ain't recognizing the things that we are have in front of us that we need to make it in this life. God say, I will give you everything that you need and he have. We choose to make stupid choices and move off and away from God. We too busy crying about wants. I look at I look at the needs and I look at what that sister is saying. Oh, she recognizing her needs, not her wants. Big difference, people, between needs and wants. You better recognize your lessons in front of you because you don't even have to have that bad as we done been in this life. I just keep it real with folks. Keep on moving forward, sister. I pray that God continue to bless you and your kids and y'all just keep on 
moving higher and higher in the Lord because he going he, he gonna to keep on doing his part. He ain't going to stop blessing. He ain't going to stop blessing. And I like what you said. It didn't matter what you was going through. You said your lights never got turned off. Gas, none of the utilities never got cut off. Oh, good God Almighty. Well, see, it's the complete opposite in my house. When we were growing up, sister, we always had stuff cut off. That's why I love how you keeping it real in there. We all, we get the lights off, we come home, the gas and the water off. It was always something turned off, but we never went without making it all the way up to this far. We might have ate the same thing and wore the same clothes, but God never took his hands off of us. I remember when my old man couldn't work no more. My old man got down and couldn't work no more. He's been down ever since. Yeah, been down ever since. And when I watched my mom, that's why I started working at a young age. Sister, you are a strong, hard-working woman. I started working at a young age. Oh, no, and I asked you one thing you going to do. You was going to work. Oh, yeah. I like that old saying, you're going to have to start pulling your own weight around her. Thank God for parents teaching us how to grow up and be responsible. And thank God for you with this video. And God bless you. Keep moving forward, sister.